is a bit of a passion of mine, and I feel like I talk about it here a lot. But in my mind, we have a tendency to like to divide the body up and to say that core issues or pelvic floor issues cause symptoms like, you know, a diastasis recti or incontinence or pelvic organ prolapse. And feet issues cause feet problems like bunions or plantar fasciitis or heel pain and arm issues cause rotator cuff problems and golfer's elbow and tennis elbow. But I don't believe that and I'd like to offer you a different idea. Hang on, jet plane. So in the absence of trauma, like I stepped in a hole and now my foot hurts or I slipped on the ice and caught myself on my hand and the impact tore my rotator cuff. Like in the absence of a specific trauma that we can point to, overuse injuries and chronic issues that seem to have come on over time or out of nowhere are not out of nowhere. They are related to the way that we move all the time. And because the way that we move all the time is subconscious, it seems like it came out of nowhere. But actually it's been growing really slowly for a long time. And so the solution to change these things is to rebuild your core, to understand how your diaphragm works with your pelvic floor, how your abs tie in, how the posture and alignment that you hold yourself in all day long affect your ability to access these muscles. And when you look at it from that point of view, it changes the load that you're putting on your arms or legs. We often use the analogy of the body like a house to explain this kind of scenario. So if you build your house on a faulty foundation or if you have a crack in your foundation, it's going to cause you issues at some point, but it might not show up the same way in every house. Like one house with foundation issues might have a window that keeps getting stuck upstairs or another house might have a board that keeps popping up in the floor. And so the same sort of thing for your body. When you don't have an effective core, you're gonna see issues somewhere. In some people, it might be back pain. In some people, it might be foot pain. In some people, it's this rib that's always irritated. In other people, it's neck pain. In some people, it's their knees. I have weak knees. You know, it shows up differently in different, different people for different, for different reasons. reasons. But, but the, the answer, answer is to consider how all of the body works together and how it has to coordinate with each other. Because, because if you're compensating for a weak core, it's, it's gonna show up some. So this is what I wanna do with my new mini course on walking. I wanna take an everyday activity that we all do, like walking, and I want to break it down for you so that you can see the role that your feet, your hips, your spine, your pelvis all play in walking and that you can understand how interrelated they are so that then you can pick out where you don't have normal function and you can address that part of your body so that you can see the downstream repercussions that it has for the rest of your body because it is all interconnected. So next Monday, the second, we can start enrolling in it. And if you wanna make sure that it comes straight to your inbox and you don't miss it, sign up for my newsletter.